All right, we're going to be doing uh, Castlevania, the Dracula X Chronicles on the PSP. Uh, this is actually just Rondo of Blood, except it's the uh, remake for the PSP. Uh, I like the original version better, but I was having a little bit of difficulty with some slowdown on the original version when I was trying to record, so we're going to try and do this one instead. Uh, so hopefully this comes out a little bit better. Alucard will be the name of my choosing. So let's start us a game. This game is painfully difficult, so I am I am warning you I will be dying quite a bit. So don't expect uh, awesomeness. Prologue. No, you, you, you've ruined my cloak. Now I must kill you. Oh, wait, you're dead already. You're dead. Haha, <laughs> take that, death. Is that all you got? I find that hard to believe. That was pretty weak showing, dude. Stage one, dinner of flames. Let's go. First sub weapon, the dagger. Nice, some money, which is just points. Ah, axe, even better. Yeah, these are just the grunts. So this version has some extra cutscenes. Is it just me or does the uh, sketch of Dracula kind of remind me of uh, Jonathan Reese uh, Myers in the new television series? Kind of looks like him. Premonition, maybe? Dude, you totally whiffed on that. Ah! Ambush! By gorillas. Yes. You are no match for me. For I am Richter Belmont. The most powerful in the Belmont clan. So has anyone played the uh, New Castlevania game? Uh, Lords of Shadow 2? I love the original Lords of Shadow, but I heard some really mixed things about the new one. So it kind of gave me pause on getting it. So I'm kind of wondering if I should have gotten it or not. I mean, Castlevania is one of my favorite game series, 
It's actually one I came late to the party on. Uh, damn it. Uh, I didn't actually p start playing Castlevania until I played the original Lords of Shadow, believe it or not. And then I got into it. Started with uh, Symphony of the Night, which many feel is probably the best in the series next to this game. Uh, and then I downloaded this onto the PSP just to see what Rondo of Blood was all about and got punished severely. Like, this is one of the most harshest, most punishing games you will ever play. And then I tried the uh, GBA games, the, all those, like, Metroidvania games, and uh, those were okay. Didn't really care for them all that much. So we're coming up on our first boss. It's kind of like a baby dragon, I guess. I don't know. It's not all that intimidating. And its attacks are really predictable. You hit, just have to avoid its lunging, its flames. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you actually make it through the stage without losing any health, you do get a bonus. You get an extra life. So, uh, if I, that ever happens on this playthrough, I will be absolutely shocked, just to let you know. So there we go. Stage 1 is cleared. We're moving on to Stage 2 with probably one of my favorite soundtracks of the series. You'll know it when you hear it, folks. Stage two. God, grant me strength. Ah, vampire killer. And just to let everybody know, I'm like, I didn't even do a test play through this game, so I'm going to be really freaking rusty, too. I'm going to, I am going to be dying quite a bit. Just a word of warning. You will see failure. More failure than you're used to seeing from me. This is a very difficult game, so. Taste my whip. Drawbridge, open. I really hate how his walk is animated in this game. And watch out for that chandelier. That's one difference from the original. Those flying eye things are a pain in the ass too, by the way. I hate them. Always good to collect coin bags. Points are good, because they get you extra lives. And this level will actually be rescuing the first maiden, uh, Maria. And uh, in all honesty, I might have to refer to a guide on the other girls, because I always forget how you, how you get to them. Chandelier. That's all. Kill everything on screen. Alright. Time for another room. Wait, what? A behemoth? Oh shit. We better run. No, Richter, I said run. Not strut. Run. Dude, if you don't walk any faster, you will get eaten by that thing. Now, it, 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 how does it, how does that happen? That it just stops and waits. And how does it die just by walking into a, I, I, it, 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 the logic sometimes. 
I know it's just a video game, and I shouldn't question logic of a video game, but really. Okay. Our first maiden. my way through like everything in the castle so far how else would I be here Maria Renard is actually the easy mode of the game I will refrain from trying to use her but if I get stuck in the playthrough I will use her <laughs> I am. I'm standing, right? Mister, who are you? I'm Richter Belmont. Don't worry, that man is gone. I paid him back for hurting you. My name's Maria. And I'm really nasally. Maria Renard. Uh, are you the man Annette was talking about? You know about Annette? Where is she? We were together when they brought us here, but now... I see. No saying that, Rick. That's out of the question. It's much too dangerous. Hey, I said it and I mean it! What the hell? What was that just now? <gasps> Such power this girl holds. So this is what he meant. Um, okay. So, now I get to come with you. You just won't take no for an answer, will you? Alright, fine. Come with me. In about five years' time, you'll be swooning over Alucard. So Maria is now a playable character. Jump for joy. Easy mode is now active. Or will be. <laughs> if I choose to. Oh. Come on. Damn bats. Ah, just go through the door. <sighs> this is going to make for an interesting boss fight. I think the next boss is the werewolf. And I don't think that there's any healing buffs in this area. Just heart buffs. So I might have to do a lot of item crashing. Item crashing is basically this game's way of like... It's, it's almost like limit breaks in Final Fantasy. If you have enough hearts and uh, you press triangle on the, on the controller, you'll do an item crash. Which you might be familiar with uh, if you played Symphony of the Night and you did it. Hydra Storm! Hydra Storm! I'm just gonna spam it. Because this guy will fucking tear me a new one. Yeah, and there's his last desperation attack. Luckily, the desperation attacks do not kill you, so if you are low on health and it does mortal damage to you, you do not die as long as you've killed him. So, I did a really cheap way of getting through that boss fight, and uh, unfortunately, I also uh, 
ended up uh, wasting a ton of my hearts. But I made it. So now we're going to be on to stage three. And now the pads really start to branch off and everything. I wanted to make sure to get Maria first, though. I hate these things. The pikemen are annoying as fuck. Because they do a downward stab. There we go. Frickin' frackin' fruck. And I hate the bone towers. I hate a lot of these enemies. Now the game really introduces you to the annoying enemy types. The classic Castlevania ones that give you nightmares. Luckily you can hit the projectiles with your whip, if you time it right. And if you're quick enough, you can beat those pikemen really fast. And yes, the soundtrack is kick-ass. Even this version of it, I prefer the original on the PC Engine, but I also prefer the PC Engine version of the game to to this version, but beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. That was the stopwatch I just deposited back, because I really don't need it. I prefer holy water. It's a much more effective sub-weapon. Holy men. The trick to them is just luring them to you, and not trying to engage them in outright combat. Holy Book is actually pretty strong in this stage of the game. It's actually strong, period. And it's a good way to get through this next section. Shit. Medusa heads. Pot roast. Anyone who's familiar with Castlevania knows and loathes Medusa heads. The blue ones don't turn you to stone, they just knock you back like a bitch. This thing is annoying. He can lunge forward, and he does this sumo wrestling maneuver. Shit. Knockback City. I got him, though. Don't play with your skull. <laughs> what do we got here? Pot roast. Nice. That is extremely helpful. Now there is a secret in this part of the stage, which is really difficult to get because someone always comes and steals your axe. So you, you have to proceed with the utmost caution. Which I am attempting to do. Okay, take a break for a second. <laughs> oh my god, this 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 stage is Got ya. You son of a bitch. A couple more of these guys. No. Do not want that.
Now, I want the axe for a specific reason. And hopefully, I will still have it when the time comes to use it. There we go. And I think this is where the asshole is. Got him. So he will steal your axe. Now what you need to do is throw the axe up. And do that. Get you to an alternate exit. So here we go. I forget what boss it is that I'm about to face. All I know is that I'm probably going to die. Oh. Uh. I think this might be the eye. I'm not sure. I think that's what it is. Yeah. It's definitely the eye. This thing's creepy as shit. I don't know what in the world they were thinking when they did this thing. Is at least pretty easy in this version anyways I, I do think that they changed the difficulty on this game compared to the uh, to the original on the PC engine like it definitely feels like it's easier but uh Eh, you know, no big. Okay, so uh, when the next stage loads up, I'm going to pause it, and uh, this will be the end of part one. And then part two will start up, and we'll keep pressing forward on stage four. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next part.